aid. Grant us power to stand up. To stand up for the praising of Prophet Allahumma salli wa salli wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina wa Sorry, I was making myself to stay in there. Mered ya Sayyidi. We ask Allah always make dua for us, ya Sayyidi. We ask in his dua always not to come out from his dua. I mean to be sometimes his dua. We said it this afternoon a little bit, and we continue. Allahu Muqadr, Aradi li Zaymak. No, no. La Tukthir li Himmak, Kumma Yakum. Allahu Muqadr, Wazim is Shu'un. Sheikh Hashem used to sing that song. His grand Sheikh and all the Sheikh Nazim used to sing. Urging people to take wisdom. Tarikat is after wisdom for its followers to gain wisdom. Wisdom to know the meanings behind things. The Sheikh who wrote that song was teaching his Marines don't uh, jump quickly to a conclusion. When I was young, I was delivering things when job delivery. I came to a factory. Uh, I took the package and I went to have someone sign it. And in the loading dock there was a desk and a bulletin board. And somebody put a cartoon for the employee. Says, All our employees have injured themselves by jumping to conclusions. <laughs> there were three things. The only one I remember is that one. over backwards, I forgot what the other thing was. But jumping to conclusions. We don't know the wisdom in things. Allahu Muqadr goes the poem or the song. Allah is the one who decrees everything. Wazimi Shu'un. And there are so many Affairs or so many things, shown, shit things, matters in play at any one time. We only see, like looking through the small end of a telescope, we see something, but we didn't see everything, the big picture. It's only one part of a huge tapestry, and we didn't see what, the, what it, its meaning. We went to the story of Sayyidina Musa and Sayyidina Khidr this afternoon. I'll say something, I hope it's permission to say it. You know the brother of Sheikh Hashem, Sheikh Adnan. Allah grant his soul mercy and blessings. He passed away now. He and Sheikh Hashem were the two Khalifa for Grand Sheikh after Sheikh Nazim. Sheikh Nazim plus those two. And he was visiting when Sheikh Nazim came to the U.S. 
have a blessing. And grant me permission to speak. He was visiting in the 90s, one of Sheikh Nazim's trips in the early 90s. 90, 91, 93, he came several times. This was after, after Michigan, maybe 92, 93, summer of 92 maybe. And he was staying in Sheikh Hashem's house. He had the whole family staying there in different rooms. And he said something strange to us one day. He said, Aulia are two kinds. One kind, he said, legislative body. One kind executive uh, department, executive wing, legislative wing and executive wing. Government has a judicial, legislative, and executive. The figure of the executive is the president, but he has so many under him executing. Now the current one has so many executing because no one to say no. Power a vacuum in physics. The one sitting in the okay. legislative and executive. Quran alludes to that speaking of the manaik of the angels. They say they don't flinch at what they're ordered to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yudabirul amr. The command descends through the being. Like in the government, the president makes an order, but he doesn't do it himself. It's carried out department by department. Uh, angels are carrying out the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Making this to happen, making storms to come, making waves to come, making this, making that. bringing life, bringing death, bringing uh, laughter, bringing tears. Allah does everything in the end, but by uh, designates. And he said, Aulia is like those angels. Certain Aulia from the executive branch, they carry out the orders they're given he said he scared me with what he said. He said, this train crashes, this plane goes down, this ship sinks, this volcano explodes, they don't look back to see who. Like that, they carry out the order. Everyone on earth knows that things come things we like and things we don't like. And all of it goes back to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his names are in opposites. Everything in he brings life and brings death. We like when he brings life, we don't like he brings death. He brings Kavit Wabasit. Sheikh Abzaladin, Allah bless him, Baba Nizami, used to say, be careful of the Sheikh when he's in his cubs. When he's under the, from COVID, constricted, he might get uh, <laughs> swatted. Constricted and basset. Open. Everyone experiences it. Sometimes it's so tight, sometimes open. Allah is COVID with basset. He opens and he constricts. Opposites. Opposites. Sariyu Hisab Alafur Rahim. So many. Taking account of everything and his arms are open for mercy. Everything in opposites. And no need to go through the whole story. Sayyidina Musa was wondering about 
that how things can be opposite. The warmth of summer, the cold of winter, the green of spring, the brown of autumn, the, the youth and old age, everything. Opposite, opposite. And Allah say, you want that, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to what Quranah Shaykh Hashem said to us, he asked Allah about that, how you make everything good and you make everything destroyed also. Shaykh Hashem told a story that Sayyidina Musa was asking, why do you punish everyone for one bad one? He said, oh Musa, sit over there, I'll show you. Sayyidina Musa sat down where Allah showed, and there was an ant hill under there. He didn't see it. And ants began, they kind of bite, came swarming up his leg, and Musa he said, oh Musa, you didn't look to see which was the one who bit you and which was not. What happened? Oh my Lord, how is it you build and you destroy? You create and you destroy also. Allah said to him, O oh Musa, I don't give that now, although you're Kalim, although you speak with me, I don't give that knowledge directly. It's my sunnah to give it to someone, and you find that one and you take from him. We'll make it short. He found Sayyidina Khidr. فَوَجِلَ عَبْدَ مِنْ إِبَادًا عَتَيْنُهُ رَحْمَةً وَجَانَهُ مِنَ لُونَ إِلْمَةً We found one of our servants, from among many, might be many of them, one of them who we gave them mercy and from ourselves knowledge. He was Rabbani, Rabbani Yom, who takes from Allah without pouring into his heart, as Sayyidina Abu Bakr took from Prophet And Sayyidina Musa said, said to Sayyidina Khidr, both of them, Salam. Teach me, can I accompany you that you can teach me the knowledge you've been given? You've been given. He was after the knowledge of opposites, how Allah can create and destroy. Same Allah. He created a beautiful forest and he burned the whole forest down. Creates mountains, destroys them with earthquakes and volcanoes. He creates youth and makes it to come old. What happened? He said, Oh Musa, Sayyidina Khidr said to him, Oh Musa, the knowledge you're asking that Allah gave me, I can't teach it to you. You won't be able to bear it. If I try and teach it to you, you'll get impatient with me and you'll run away. You won't be able to take it. I said, what? I won't be able to take it. It's a knowledge. Just tell me what it, I can. You won't. It's something so shocking you won't be able to deal with it. Musa said, please, let me accompany you. I'll be patient. They went back and forth. I'll be patient. You won't. I will. I won't. Finally, Sayyidina Khidr accepted and Sayyidina Musa accompanied him. And Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam, he showed Sayyidina Musa three destructive things. He did three uh, strange things. He showed him three. Some fishermen helped them in their, took them across the channel in their boat. And when they got across, Sayyidina Khidr, he sunk the boat. It was all they owned. So what you did? He said, be patient. They went a little farther, they found a nice young man. And Sayyidina Khidr killed him. He says, how can you, how, how can you do that? He was Musa, he said, had Torah, thou shalt not kill. So you broke the first and worst one, now you're going to teach me spirituality? He said, I told you, you couldn't be patient. But this is too much. He said, 
Who wants to know? It's your second time you failed. And then the third time, there were some terrible people. Sayyidina Khidr said, we have to help them. They had a, a project building up a wall. Here we do them a nice favor. And Musa said, sarcastically, these we could ask for some money for it. We could eat them. So that's it. I told you to keep quiet. You couldn't keep quiet. This was three small events. I didn't do it from myself. You didn't come to me for me. You came to know something about Allah's decree and command. Why well, things is opposite. Allah sunk that boat. I was only an instrument. Like the angels, they don't flinch from the command. You want to come with me? I'm one of those people. I carry out the order. If it makes you nervous, don't come with me. This is my job. When I visit you at work, you won't like my work. I'm working in the slaughterhouse. Go <laughs> You'll see what you don't like. You both, everything had an explanation. But you didn't, never understood. Allah wants to bring goodness finally. You both, those fishermen were very good, but you didn't see there was an evil pirate king who was about to take all the boats and the crew and put them in his pirate navy, torture them and make them to do terrible things. I sunk the boat, so when his men come, they pass by. Really, this boat's no good. Then they moved on. Later, they can bring it up. The boy looked like a good boy to you, but we see what you don't see. He was going to be a murderer. He was going to kill his parents. And his parents were good people. We wanted to bring a good child for them. So we, we took one away, and we're going to bring a good one. And it said a line of prophets came from the new one. But you couldn't be patient with it. Third one, that wall, under that wall, there was a kans, a treasure. It was the uh, legacy, the will, from a very good person for his boy's inheritance. But that wall was falling down. And that treasure was going to be exposed. Those boys weren't strong enough to carry that. If that treasure got exposed, those terrible people from that place were going to take all of it and leave, leave them with nothing. So we built it up for now until the boys are big enough to carry it. Then later we show it to them. But you couldn't understand it. You're looking only the outward looking of things and you're not looking the bigger picture. On the Sheikh Nazim, they played a clip, a short clip. Maybe you saw it yesterday from Peckham. It's a Peacham, they spelled it P E C H A M or something like that. I got mad I was going to say that. But never mind. Peacham. Peckham. And he was saying when you're able to go inside yourself, to see your reality that we're not seeing now. All of us is We made I made you my deputies, earthly deputies. If you are able to go inside yourself and see what kind of reality you are, he said, you're going to be very pleased. When you see. You're going to see, you contain the whole universe. And then he went on, he didn't say that only, he said, and you're going to be pleased with it. With everything. And then he said, you're going to be pleased with everybody. Because you see the bigger picture. You see the bigger picture. You don't say, why this is doing this, why this is doing that. You say, oh, if this didn't happen, this couldn't happen. If this hadn't happened, this wouldn't have happened. Balancing. No one uh, gets away with anything in the world of faith. Everything is 
balanced in accounting. And every account is cleared, I would say. He gave human beings free will. He honored us with irada, willpower. All of us have it. And he sent prophets to teach us how to use that willpower. What to do. And all of us, we did what we did. And we're doing what we're doing. Everything has to be finally in a balance. What's that ayat? Hasanat yamhu musayya. In the Hasanati Yudhibnu Sayyat. Hasanat, goodness, erases Yudhib, like the eraser on a pencil. Yudhib Sayyat. Prophet said, erase your mistakes, we all have them with goodness. Do a good deed, it can erase so much mistakes. Try to balance yourself before you're balanced. Count yourself before you're called to account. There are things, like Salawat and Nabi Salawat, that cover so many mountains of one Allah Masayya Sayyidina Muhammad is heavier in the scale than mountains of Masayya sins. He made it so easy. I said, do it. Everyone, their fate, fate, kismet, Fate is in their hands every day. Give thanks. Make a habit to say shukran ya shukran shukran ya rabbi. Shuk shukran. What kind of whatever is it? thanks? Give thanks. Allah keeps favors from being lost. People are crying. What happened? I lost this. I lost that. You weren't thankful. Now you're crying. The time to, before you cry, give thanks. It doesn't cost you anything. Be thankful to all. Second one, say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah likes uh, to hear his servants praising. It erases uh, sins and mistakes. Say Alhamdulillah. 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 Even you don't want to say Alhamdulillah, even you're angry, say to your ego, there's a bigger picture here. Something's making me mad, but something more is going on than I know about it. If I could see how well everything was arranged, I would know this is, had to be like this. Now you say Alhamdulillah. How to take you out from problems that it's your, our own fault. And say astaghfirullah. <laughs> Clean so many problems to say astaghfirullah. I did it. Don't say they did it, they did it. They... Say I did it. I caused this to happen to myself. Didn't cost anything. Say astaghfirullah. Allah takes you out uh, from problems. It's your own fault. Say alhamdulillah. He turns bala into ni'mat. That's what I was trying. Problems get turned into blessings, as if by magic. They're trying to do alchemy. There's books of alchemy, spiritual magic. Trying to change lead into gold or straw into gold. Temple still spin. spinning straw into gold. We have spinning straw into gold. Say, Alhamdulillah, Allah changed the straw, and worse than straw, into gold. He can do everything. But we don't refer it back to him. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open for us that understanding that Sayyidina Musa was asking, we have to be patient. That we didn't see the whole story. We didn't see the whole story. Mu'ala Shaykh Nazim used to say that no nizam without Nazim no, uh, how can I say, it? no engineering without an engineer. When he introduced Nizamuddin, he had given the name, 
he's Nizam and he's engineer. He said, therefore, Nizam with him. No Nizam without Nazim. No arrangement without an arranger. If you could see how perfectly everything is arranged, you would be amazed. You would never touch anything. It's perfect. This meeting had to be like this. These people had to be here. Those people had to be on Zoom. Those people had to be driving past. Everything had to be just like that. If you saw how perfect, exquisite, so perfect. Allah. That's the word, the artistry of Allah. Sibgatullah. Sibgatullah. Exquisite artistry. Everything is exactly. But we didn't appreciate it. We didn't have that hikmah, that wisdom. We didn't have those eyes to see. Allah say it's not these eyes that are blind, it's the eyes in your heart. Therefore, Mulana Sheikh, his whole training, that one day or one night our hearts should open to see our realities. To find the whole universe there, he said. Ask him to find that. He said, you'll be very pleased with that, and then you can be pleased with everyone. Sheikh Hassan said, you wonder why Mulana Sheikh used to have such people around him? You think a, a big wali like Mulana Sheikh had all awliya sitting reading Quran? No, he had eccentric people always. He said, because he's not looking their eccentricity of their behaviors. He's looking at reality, filling the universe. That each one is created to be Khalifa to Allah, deputy for Allah, manifesting his different names, bringing everything into a perfect balance. Without that peace, it's not in balance. I object to that one. No, don't object. That's making everything to be in complete balance. That you didn't understand it. You didn't create it. It's not your painting. May Allah grant us the blessings of this night. Thanks to Mulana, he gave something to say. I never know what's going to say. I try to read books, I, I can't get anything. I'm having a new face, I can't even understand the sentences anymore. What are they saying? quoting a medical thing. I don't know what any of this means. The vortex of I know the word, but I don't understand how it fits in any of these what they're saying. <laughs> May Allah forgive us. Billboard outside, something about education, building something through making a giant building through the levers of power. I looked back, it was something about the community college. I didn't understand. I picture giant levers being applied to the universe. <laughs>